everybody and welcome back to That Fiction Life. Today we are merging beauty and books. Some of you may already know that I'm a regular attendee of the Lush Book Club in which authors talk about their books and then Lush try and pair some products that go along with the book. So I thought I would try my own hand at this and I will pair up Lush products along with my favourite books. I have been using their products for a long long time. I mean the whole store is some kind of drug den because it smells so intoxicating so I had the best time trying to pick all the products, smelling them all. Without further ado, I'm going to begin my list of findings. Just as a side note, I was at the store for I think about two hours trying to do this. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. So far, this is still my favorite book of the year and I read it first. I'm of course talking about The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I am so in love with this book. The moral ambiguity of the characters, the dark depiction of Faye, because that is my favorite type. But this story mainly follows Jude, who is being brought up by this Faye warrior lord person who actually murdered her parents when she was younger. And now she lives amongst the Fae and is very desperate and keen to become one of them. And she realizes in order to do this, she has to become cunning and deceitful just like they are, even though they cannot outright lie, which is when the creativity in the deceit comes in. I had to find a product for this book. When I walked past this Sugar Plum Fairy body scrub, I had to pair these together and I'm going to of course unbox these for you and show you just why I picked this. So this is the Sugar Plum Fairy body scrub and if this doesn't look like something that would grow or would just hang out somewhere in the Feyland where Prince Cardin and Jude have their banter, I don't know what is. This is absolutely ideal for this book. Everything from the colouring, the bright colour and the very intoxicating sweet smell. Smells of lies to me. I mean I wouldn't be surprised if Prince Cardin just had this in his bathroom. This next one of course is another favourite series of mine and that is the Shadow Hunter series by Cassandra Clare but specifically the Infernal Devices trilogy and the Shadowhunters Codex. So this is set during the reign of Queen Victoria back in London with Tessa Gray, the main protagonist, who finds refuge in one of the Shadowhunter institutes. There is a heavy love triangle in this book, which is probably my favorite love triangle. This one was particularly hard purely because a lot of the things that had a perfect name or had a perfect look about the product, I didn't like the smell of. So me and my friend, we went round the whole shop about 500 million times so we were there for two hours and it was towards the end that we actually went to grab this and this is the dark angels body and face scrub now if the name is not perfect enough for the shadow hunter book the inside of this genuinely looks like a mushed up version of all the leather they wear this smells immaculate out of this whole video i can already tell you this is my favorite smell it has mud avocado oil and charcoal powder it smells so sharp it is as if it had some kind of citrusy smell but at the same time it smells very gardeny and with this one you kind of make your own paste with water and then you use it on your face or wherever the hell you want and i I had to pair it with the shadow hunters because you know after a hard day of stabbing some demons wouldn't you want to have a cleanse with some leather then I have a product based on goddess by Josephine Angelini this is my favorite mythology book it is so underrated I read this series back when it first came out it is loosely based off of Helen of Troy so of course it does feature a little bit of forbidden romance because you have two of our main protagonists who absolutely despise each other. And it is not this sort of love to hate stereotypical story. They genuinely feel the need to kill each other. We have this plot line on the side of it about this girl, just from a fairly quiet town where this very suspicious family move in. So when we found a product to do with this, I was ecstatic. And for this, we have an actual goddess bath bomb. The colours of this fit perfectly with the book and we had a demonstration of this in the shop when all the water mixed in it looked like paint. It turned this sort of lilac-y grey to one side then you had this deep purple to one end and just tell me this doesn't look like mythology and even has the same name. I couldn't find a better match. The next book 
has a product that I actually was shook at how accurate it is. So whereas the goddess one genuinely looks and has the same name as the book, this one actually goes really well with the theme. And that is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. So this book comes out in February 2019. And this is just the art copy. So the actual cover is this one here. Keep that in mind while I tell you all about this book. So this is a high fantasy novel that features quite a few protagonists. There is this queen that needs to conceive a daughter in order to protect her kingdom. But of course assassins are not far off because once a throne is in danger, you know, some very unfavourable people come knocking. Then the Queen's lady-in-waiting is using forbidden magic to protect her. There are dragon riders in this book, and even though I have not read it yet, I already know I am about to have my mind blown because I've heard so many good things. The book is up for a pre-order right now. Bloomsbury are giving away signed posters, I believe, as a pre-order campaign. So if you want this beautiful book cover in post form, I will highly recommend pre-ordering it. I've already sent mine in, so can't wait for that. So this product is called Little Dragon Bubble Bar. I am just so shook. I cannot, okay? Can we appreciate how bloody accurate this is? You know, I'm already having dreams about how I'm going to be reading this book in the bath along with this very, very accurate bubble bar that is going to make this read very magical because there's glitter. I don't, don't even think I smelled this. I just picked it up and bought it because reasons. It has cinnamon and ginger, clove. Oh, this smells a little bit like Christmas, not gonna lie. So this just smells very spicy and the total opposite of what I've been showing you so far, which have been very floral type of scents. The next product we have is based on Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. So this is the film adaptation cover because I couldn't resist the beauty of this. I think they just both capture the mood of the story so much. And this is a story about Lou who is about to lose her job and she finds a new position working for this family in which Will, after his motorcycle accident, has been confined to a wheelchair. And he's losing the will to live completely and Lou coming into his life changes that. So while I tell you about this book, I have a little guest that's wandered into my room. So Luna's gonna listen to why this book has probably the cutest product that I've ever seen in Lush. So this is called the Bumblebee Body Butter. Are you gonna smell it as well? She's probably gonna try and eat it, which is probably not the greatest idea. But this is a Bumblebee Body Butter. It's not for you. This smells so much like white chocolate to me, even though it has an almond, coconut. You just wake up for an hour. How are you tired again? So this smells like almonds and cocoa butter and sheer butter, all the butters, hence the name, I guess. The significance to me before you is actually because Lou has this very big fascination with bees and she has these tights. If you have seen them in the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about or read the book, but visually we actually got to see them on Amelia Clark. She has these tights that are black and yellow, so exactly like a bumblebee. So I, when I saw this, it was absolutely the first thing I thought of. And it's so ideal because it has a very soft smell. As you would all expect, for the finale of this video, we have multiple products from Harry Potter because I have no self-control. I was just going to buy one, but as you were going through the shop, I just kept picking things that were ideal. So I have three. Thank you for your input in one of the products. So the first is the Tales of Beedle and the Bard, which of course has the tale of the Three Brothers story, in which we meet the Invisibility Cloak. And Lush have this product that is called the Cloak of Invisibility. So, I couldn't find a more perfect match because it genuinely has the same name. Oh, they wrapped it like a sweet. That's misleading, I want to eat it. So what I really, really love about this is this bright orange color. And what I really love about it is it looks like a kind of symbol you would find in ancient runes class and things like that. So it genuinely looks like a real Harry Potter product. So this has jasmine and rosewood oil. So it does smell quite earthy. Then we have the Golden Slumbers bath bomb. And I've paired this with Philosopher's Stone. When I show you this, you will understand exactly 
why I picked it for this. I present to you the golden snitch. All it needs is some golden wings to go alongside it. And I would chase this around a pitch. It has the name golden in it, so it's the connection. But it actually looks like the snitch. So there we have it. Let's go and play Quidditch with a bath bomb. This smells of lavender and chamomile, so it is very calming. So I guess the exact opposite of what Quidditch is meant to be. But you know, after a hard day of training with my Slytherin pal. So my final product, I have based on Prisoner of Azkaban. Specifically because this is the first book where everyone goes to Hogsmeade. What do the students primarily drink in Hogsmeade? Butterbeer. So of course when I saw something named Butterbeer Bath Bomb, you know, I just put it in my basket and walked quietly away without explaining because look at the cuteness. So this doesn't smell of butterscotch in any way but the reason I picked it was firstly because of the name also the look of it. So this is part of the Christmas collection a little little bear with a Christmas scarf on. When I think of Hogsmeade I always imagine them in the snow and a particular that scene and that little area next to the Shrieking Shack, particularly in the movie, everything looks so festive. I buy this one every year and now I get to link it to one of my favourite series ever. So those are all the products that I have paired to some of my favourite books. I hope you enjoyed finding the connections between all the products because genuinely trying to do this in the shop was the most fun I've ever had. I would highly recommend this as a little field trip if anyone is looking for something to do in London. You know, pick your favourite books then go to Lush. Perfect way to entertain a bookworm, let me tell you. So as I said at the beginning, all the products will be linked down below so you can check some of them out. Putting the books aside, if I didn't have to think about the names of the products and what they look like, my favourite smell is genuinely this Dark Angels. And then I think second favourite smell wise would be the Sugar Plum Fairy. And then I think I would pick the bumblebee body butter so those are my top three so thank you for watching this video like i said at the beginning make sure to comment what your favorite product is out of this little selection or if any of the books i talked about are on your favorite shelves or on your tbr don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel you can do so right here on this button my last video is just below that so you can click that straight away to watch it and i will see you next time bye